question, but... No, it's um, probably a culmination of things. Um, I was driving... I've obviously grown up here my whole life in this area. Um, my father played a lot of footy here and I played all my junior rugby league and just down the road at Blackmore Oval and I probably kicked you know, thousands of balls at Leichhardt number two. Um, it was just a really pretty good feeling driving up here um, and I had 30 friends and family in the stands. Um, and to get a win like that with these boys, we had such we had such a tough year last year. It was just probably a bit too much emotion for me to handle. Um, but I'm I'm glad like I'm not you know annoyed that I did it. Um, it's just been a tough road for these boys and to get a win and then for me to get a win like that against probably the best team in the world in front of my friends and family and on the field that I've grown up playing at was just amazing and I was just a bit lost for words. Your old man's here tonight, I understand. Um, what's that like doing that in front of him and how close to seeing what guidance does he give you as your younger brother? Um, yeah, everything. He um, coached um, a lot of my teams growing up and obviously we butted heads every now and then. Um, but he's taught me, yeah, a lot. And um, he's kind of shaped me into the man I am today and I'm just so appreciative. And I didn't really get to see him after the game. He's probably on the Jim Beam cans already somewhere. Probably down at Blackmore Oval in the clubhouse. But... Yeah, he's um, done so much for me and my mum as well. They've just, me and my, well, I've got three little brothers and they've just provided everything that they could for us to, you know, succeed at whatever we wanted to do. So I'm, I'm just so appreciative of them. What was the energy like out there tonight, <coughs> Dane? Because it felt, I remember up the top of the stand here, it was rocking up there. Mm. What was it like out on the other? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, to have that, I've never played in front of that many people before. Um, <coughs> yeah, I was, it's, it was new for me. Um, but yeah, again, so appreciative of, the, of those fans. They're just amazing, especially after the year we had last year, for them to be rolling in in those numbers. Um, I'm, I'm so glad that we could put on a, a good performance for them. And right at the start, mate, it was Route 1 footy. You took the ball off the scrum and just headed straight forward. Yeah. It's like your old man would have. Yeah. He was carting it up. Um, was that just spur of the moment? Was that the play? Didn't that um, I kind of feel like I play my best footy when I have a kind of a run first mentality so I just wanted to kind of get myself in the game early um, I saw some space there and just thought I'd, I'd take him on and um, I think it just set, set me up well I probably wasn't happy last week with how I played I'm, I like to run the footy and I think that was just a way for me to get myself into the game and, and I think it, it went well When you were growing up I imagine you probably wanted to play for the Balmain Tigers or West Tigers you watched clips of your father playing mm. like that. now when did you commit to rugby and when was the transition made? Um, probably year, year 12. Um, I played cricket, surprisingly, at Trinity Grammar School, mostly cricketer growing up, um, and was playing rugby union. And then le I played league since I was six years old down at Leichhardt Wanderers. Um, it was probably around, yeah, year 12. I, I got signed to the Tigers on like a development sort of deal. And, and then I started playing good, good rugby union at school and then just an offer came in from Rugby Australia and I felt like I suited rugby union a bit more and... Um, just took it and I haven't regretted it ever since. I love, I love playing rugby union. What other sports did you play as a kid? <laughs> a lot. Um, just like touch football, cricket, soccer, rugby league, rugby union. I think I did a bit, bit of gymnastics in there as well. Hopefully the boys don't hear that, but I think I did a little bit of that as well. So mum and dad, just whatever we wanted to do. Like, and I think that has paid dividends in the back half of my, my life. Just on that game, but the last five minutes when you have the crusader side and you're down two players, mm. just constantly putting pressure on your line. How do you how do you go about sort of marshalling the troops and kind of keeping style, but keeping them calm in your own style? Um, DC said we probably didn't do the best job, to be honest. I probably wasn't happy with a few a few kicks that I did towards that back end, giving them the ball back because um, they're lethal. So we probably could clean up a few things around that, just having a more controlled kick. Even kicking those balls into the stands, making sure they go out, because even if it's a good kick, they still do like quick line out and they're back on the attack. So probably can clean up a few things um, in that back 20 minutes with our, with our kicking game. But um, to be honest, I, I don't think we may not managed it overly well. I think it was just that tough, tough stuff that DC was talking about. Charlie Gamble getting on the ball was amazing, um, saved our bacon there. So I think it was more our defensive effort that, that kept us in and not so much the game management. This win sweet again. What happened last year? You were there, mm. playing a whole little bit then. But uh, I paint a picture in the room there for the guys who dealt with last year. Yeah, it's um, a good change room to be in at the moment. Um, last year it was just, yeah, it wasn't 
overly fun. But as we've said, I've heard many times, we just stuck by each other. There wasn't once where, you know, boys were turning on each other. We stayed really, really tight. And I think that comes from being a young group. We all get along extremely well. Um, we stay extremely tight and now it's just so nice to see us seeing some good results and then the boys are really enjoying it. Sweet. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks.